Hey everyone, I'm back today with another empties video because my empties bag is getting full and I really want to get rid of those things. But first, I'm gonna do you this weird thing and show you my trash. I really like watching this kind of video because I feel like whenever you use up a product, you can really give a full on review and you can tell if you're going to repurchase it, what you loved about it, what you didn't like about it. So we're gonna get started because there are a ton of things in here and I have no idea what's in it actually. So the first thing is something that I have in every single one of my empties videos. This is a Bioderma Solution Micellar. This is just micellar water from Bioderma. I love this stuff. I've been using it for I would say less than 10 years, but probably seven or eight years. Great, great stuff, highly recommend it. And by the way, I'm not gonna do like close up of any of those products because those are just gross. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always, I will put all of the products mentioned into the description box of this video. So you can check that out if you want to. The next product that I have is actually shampoo. This is a Fekai Shea Butter uh, Moisturizing Shampoo. I really like this shampoo. It is very moisturizing and everything, but the only thing is that because it is so moisturizing, kind of weight your hair down which I didn't really enjoy. So it is good if you have really dry, damaged hair and you're looking for a very nice, very soft and very gentle shampoo. This is great. The smell was amazing though, but I really like Fekai product, but this one, I'm not going to repurchase it just because I like my hair to have kind of a bit of volume and look a bit fluffy. The next product that we have is another micellar water. Can you tell that I love this stuff? This is the Garnier version of um, the Bioderma one. This is the micellar water from Garnier. As I said, this was very good. I actually did a full-on comparison with uh, the Bioderma one in my on my blog. So I will pop the link to the blog post in the description box down below. It is great, it doesn't cost a lot, it is available nearly everywhere and I really liked using it. This is another hair product. This is a VO5 Heat Product Styling Spray. I bought that in Boots just because I was on the market for a new heat protectant. Uh, I came across this, it was fairly cheap so I bought it and I actually loved it. The smell was very sugary but really nice. It didn't linger it in your hair but it was nice when you were spritzing it on. Um, really like the spray that it comes with because it delivers a mist rather than a direct like spray. Um, it was good, it did really the job uh, perfectly well. It is great, probably will repurchase that just because it is affordable, it works great and the packaging is just awesome as well. I finished a Dr. Brother Magic Soap in the tea tree version. This is something that I use mainly to clean my makeup brushes. It is great for that. This is amazing because it's a full-on organic soap that you can use for a ton of different things. And actually when I got surgery back in January, I was really scared when I was able to take a shower for the first time to use any like heavily scented, perfumey kind of um, shower gels. So I actually use Dr. Bronner's so because it is natural, it is um, organic as well, and it was very, very nice. I would totally repurchase it. I already did. I have two right now, one in my bathroom and one in my uh, vanity table to clean my makeup brushes. You can use it to do a ton of different things. I used it to wash my hair. You can use it as a body wash, to wash your makeup brushes, you can clean your teeth with it, I believe. You can do your uh, dishes with it. It's just a great multitask product and I really like the tea tree version to clean my makeup brushes because tea tree has known powers to be antibacterial and to fight spots and germs, so I thought it was great to use with my makeup brushes. The next product I have, oh no god, another micellar water. This is from Bioderma as well, but this is the Hydra Bio H2O version. I believe this is for a sensitive and dehydrated skin. Yes, it is. Um, this is like the middle size, medium size that they do. This is a very big size and they do have like a mini size, which is great for traveling. Really like this one. Do I prefer it to the pink version? I don't know because this is especially great to use in winter when your skin is very dry, very dehydrated. This is great to use all year round. It's designed for sensitive skin and this is actually the one that I use at Fashion Week when they're doing the model's makeup like 20 times a day. This is the one that I use. But if you have really sensitive, really dehydrated, bad skin, this is probably the one to give a go. I believe they are at the same price, so it's not really a price issue. 
Next I have a body wash. This is Bourjois Pamper Me Cocooning Shower Milk. Really love this stuff. The smell was just heavenly. It smells like cherry blossom and vanilla. It's very cocooning as the name suggests. Really liked it. I'm not sure I'm going to repurchase it just because I like to change my body wash really frequently. But it's actually funny that I got to use this because when I was like 11 years old, we couldn't get bourgeois um, shower gels over here in Belgium. And every time we would go to the south of France, probably once a year, I would go to Monoprix and stock up on those for like a year. Every time I came back from Cannes, I had like 10 body um, washes in my suitcase. It was just an obsession. So it was kind of a throwback product for me, really. Next, I have a nail spray from Nivea. Um, this is a styling spray, volume sensation. This is very good stuff. It is the extra strong version that they do and this gives a lot of volume and it's great to hold your curls really well. This is actually um, the hairspray that I used to use every day when I was curling my hair. I totally recommend it. It doesn't break the bank and it does the job wonderfully well. Another shampoo! How many hair products do I have? This is good though because I have a ton of hair products. This is a Boots Built Up Removal Expert Shampoo. I love this stuff. This is basically um, the drugstore version of the Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo. This is a very clarifying shampoo. It's very cleansing but very gentle in the same time. It won't dry out your hair or anything. This is great to use once a week, especially if you use a ton of styling products like hairspray or heat protectant, which is my case. This is great just to clean everything and to start off with beautiful, clean, fresh hair. So I highly recommend that, especially if you are looking for a great clarifying shampoo. I have um, a miniature of the grass shower gel from Lush. I really like that. This is actually a shower gel that is green and smells exactly like grass that you cut in the summer. Really love the smell. Um, really like the shower gel, but although I love the smell, I think I would prefer this kind of smell into a scented candle or something like that, just because Every time I was washing my skin with that, I could feel the smell lingering on my skin and this is not something that mixes great with fragrances. So I'm not going to repurchase this shower gel. Really like Lush shower gels, but I think that this kind of grassy smell would be better in a scented candle. I have finished quite a few samples and I thought it would be fun to include them. This is a Veleda Pomegranate uh, Creamy Body Wash. I love the smell of this product, but I didn't like the body wash. It wasn't lathering, it feels like a cream, it wasn't very cleansing, so this is not something that I'm going to purchase, but the Veleda brand does have some great products. I really like their um, skin cream, Miracle Skin Cream. This is just great if you have very dry skin and you can apply it on your face and on your body. I have the body oil, passion fruit oil, dry oil mist. This was a very old product and I'm glad to be done with it because um, it was just too old and it started to feel a bit gross. This smelled amazing, but I wasn't a real fan of it because although it says it's in a dry oil, it would stay put on your skin, it doesn't sink in. It was just a nightmare. I didn't feel like it was very nourishing, very moisturizing. And I'm sorry if you can hear any strange noise, but my dog Fendi is actually walking along the window <laughs> for some reason. Um, I love the fact that it came in a spray, this is very useful when it comes to body oil, but I wasn't such a fan of the oil itself. I have a sample of the Christophe Robin uh, Purifying Cleansing Scrub with Sea Salt. This is a little bit like um, a grown-up version of the Lush uh, Big Shampoo. Really, really, really enjoy it. It is great if you have kind of irritated scalp, if you have an itchy scalp, very sensitive. This is great because it really cleanses everything and this is great if you want to start a new routine with your hair and you want to start fresh. This will clean your hair like nothing else and it will scrub your scalp in the same time. Highly, highly recommend that. Is it better than the Lush Big Shampoo? I'm not sure. These two are kind of different. They do the same thing but the texture is different. This one was very thick and very solid while the Lush one is a bit more creamier and a bit more watery in a sense. Another sample from the Body Shop. This is not really a sample, it's like a miniature size. This is the Shea Butter Sugar Body Scrub. Really, really like the Body Shop uh, scrubs. They are really um, exfoliant, they feel like they have sugar in them, so it's very nice against the skin. And they feel very moisturizing afterwards as well, so I 
continue to buy these. I really like these. Although at the moment I'm trying one from Another Stories that I really, really like. It's a little bit more thin, but it really scrubs the skin very, very well. I have an old Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is the first one that I bought. I actually bought a new one. This is a makeup sponge that I use pretty much every day. I have to throw this one away. I think I purchased it in Cambridge last years so this is like a year and a half um, I decided to get a new one because I stand this one with some sort of black eye makeup and it actually teared apart um, I don't know why that happened I wasn't cautious with it but I repurchased one highly recommended it's probably eight or nine pounds so it's fairly affordable and it's a great makeup tool then I finished the molten brown Black Pepper Crown Body Wash. Really like the smell of it. It was very unique and I actually remember that I used that this fall and winter. Really like the smell because it was very rich and very like amberish kind of scent. It was a very dark smell if that makes sense. Um, I love Molten Brown. They do amazing body washes. This is probably the fourth or the fifth one that I tried and I really like them. They feel very luxurious and the smells are always very unique as well. Oh my god, there's so many products left. I finished, oh I love this one. This is a NYX Serum Merveillance Expert. This is a lifting concentrate for visible lines. This is targeted towards um, older skin than mine, but I decided to try it non-left and I loved it. It comes with a pump, which is just great. It's a very rich serum that still sinks into your skin. But what is great with that is that after I applied it, I didn't feel the need to apply face moisturizer on top. I sometimes did, but this wasn't like some serum just sink into your skin and you feel like you didn't apply anything. This didn't. It's a wonderful, wonderful serum to apply. It's kind of a white consistency, but it doesn't leave like a white cast on your skin. Love that. The ingredients are great and this is just one wonderful product. I would probably repurchase it. I still have like three serums that I need to go through before I can repurchase that one, but this is just wonderful. Now, I think that the rest is all makeup. I finally finished my Bare Vitamins Primetime Foundation Primer. This is a great primer. It feels a lot like silicone on your skin. This is great to use if your makeup tends to sink into your skin or if your foundation decides to have a life on its own during the day. This is great. The packaging is great as well. And I would highly recommend this primer if you're on the market for a new one. Next, I have the Dr. Jack Plus Water Fuse. BB Cream Multi Action Skincare Plus Makeup. I love this. I picked it up in Boots in London a while ago and I actually finished it like six months ago, I think. I really like this BB Cream because it is super, super, super hydrating. It is great to use in winter if you want to have a bit of coverage but you still want to nourish your skin in the same time. I really like it. It has an SPF of 25, which is great. It doesn't like you cannot feel it on your skin through the day, which is important. And the only downside to it is that the color, I don't think you have like multiple colors, I think this is like one color fits all. It's a little bit gray. If you wear it during winter, it's fine. If you wear it during summer, like the undertone is a little bit gray, if I'm totally honest with you. But apart from that, I would totally repurchase it. It's one of the best BB creams on the market. Oh, I actually have a couple of concealer. I have four. I have, oh, I love this one. This is a Bourjois CC Eye Cream uh, in the shade 21. I've already talked about this a lot. This is great if you want a really quick hydrating product. This does everything. It's a corrector, it's illuminating, it is a concealer. This is just wonderful. The packaging is great as well. I used to apply it underneath my eyes. It blends really nicely, but it stays put during the whole day. And I would totally repurchase that. I have two concealers from MAC. These are the Select Moisture Cover NW20 and NW15. I used to be obsessed with these back in the day, but now I think that they are just better concealer on the market. Like the NARS Radiant Creamy one is fairly like on the same page as those, but the NARS one is definitely a favorite over those. I don't think that I will repurchase these. And then I tried the collection Illuminating Concealer. It used to have a name, but now it's all gone. I decided to get that because 
I was obsessed with the collection, um, how was that called, um, the concealer that everyone was talking about. Really like the concealer, it is great, but this is not really my cup of tea. I guess it's a good product, it's not something that I really like, it's kind of a brush tip. It's supposed to be really illuminating. It did illuminate my eyes, but it didn't cover anything. So it was just like an extra step in my makeup routine um, that didn't make a lot of difference. So I didn't really enjoy it. I have a Bobbi Brown corrector in the shade Light Bisque. Absolutely love this stuff. This is something that I use nearly every single day, especially if I have like really dark circles. It's kind of a salmon color that will cancel the blueness of your dark circles. It is just great to use. I already have a new one in my vanity that I use pretty much all the time. And then I have the Bobbi Brown um, Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black Ink. This one is completely dried up. Um, I used to be obsessed with gel liner, but now that I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, I'm fairly converted to that one, so I don't think I'm gonna repurchase that one. But if you want to start with eyeliner, I used to be very, very bad at it and gel eyeliner was one thing that made me learn to apply eyeliner in the Bobbi Brown one, it's just the best one out there. And last but certainly and not least, this is the Elemental Herbology Flower Harmonizing Mist. This is one of my favorite skincare products. This is from this beautiful brand Elemental Herbology, they have wonderful natural products. This was um, a face mist that was incredible. It smells really nice, it has great ingredients and it's great to use in the morning before you apply your face moisturizer, it's great to revive your makeup through the day, it's nice to apply just before you do a face mask, this is something that I love to do. Um, I will totally repurchase one. That's it! My empties bag is finally empty so I can recycle all of that. I hope that you enjoyed this video, I know it's probably crazy long, I'm sorry about that but I really hope that you enjoyed seeing well, I used up and hearing what I have to say about all of these products. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss one of my weekly videos. And I will see you next time. Bye everyone!